left alert. Whilst in China, a massive earthquake has claimed the lives of an undisclosed number of people. Here at home, the Sizewell nuclear power station has gone into meltdown and threatens to pollute two-thirds of England's landmass. Later in the program, we'll have a film report of the vicious axe murder of Premier Margaret Thatcher. But first, here's a cartoon. And now over to our man on the spot for today's best buys. Thank you, Val, and good morning, Britain. Well, the best bargain coming through Heathrow this morning is undoubtedly this red leb. Another good buy from local dealers are these firm fresh tie sticks. And rumour has it that the Colombian gold crop has reached California, so should be here in time for the pop festival rush. Now, moving on to hard drugs. Several bad busts by these lads behind me means that the uh, street price of cocaine will be going through the roof, so unless you're a, an independent film producer, I wouldn't bother. On the other hand, I have some good news for all you junkies. In Unit 3, we are primarily concerned with the similarities of the three-dimensional graph on a given plane. And later, we will be redefining the Sponsky test for negative number theory. But first, hear the cartoon. I've come about your electricity leak. Come off it. Security leak. All right. All right. What is it? It's Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> After all these years, we must owe him thousands. Who's Arthur? Now, that's something many would like to know, my little semi-detached. Arthur's an enigma. A one-man crusade against bad debt, sir. Mystical Zen bailiff, a, a cold, steely eye. Bleeding nuisance. Yeah. Can I see your television license? Dog license. Driving license. Artistic license. License to kill. Overground for Mr. Armadillo. Oh, don't mind if I do. Arthur! <laughs> what does he want us for then? 1976. Ah, what part of 1976? All of it. Bull, blimey. Yeah, I don't think blimey's too strong a word, Wayne. We took him weeks. Gowns and bent briefs by the look of this document. Well, can't we bung someone? No, nah, it'd be cheaper to bribe the Pope. What's his number? Shut up, Wayne. I'm trying to think. Look, Arthur, suppose... He's gone. All right, that does it. Go on, Wayne. Let's get down to the bank before it opens. I think I'll give myself a gin break. After all, I'm in charge. In fact, I might even give myself a rise. California, this is a recorded message. Al's out minding his own business at the moment, but if... Oh, hello, Ethel. Oh, nice to hear from you. How are you, love? Oh, mustn't grumble. Here, Lil, I saw in the news this morning about that Colombian gold over your way, and I was wondering if you would get me some sent over for Bert's birthday. Oh, of course I can, Dad. No problem. Did he enjoy that acid we sent him for Christmas? Oh, we loved it. We loved it. 
He thought he was Billy J. Kramer in the Dakotas till March. Hey, little children. Hey, I'm in the moves I got. Hey, hallelujah. Here are the keys. We're going out for a while. Yeah, we're going to knock over a bank. Yeah. Hey, can you knock over a liquor store on the way, boys? I'm running short of cigarettes. Oh, yeah. sure thing. Camel's OK? Anything low time. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Hey, hey. Whoa. Hey. You see my liquor store, Master Wayne? No, why? Lily wants a pack of cigarettes. Hey! Can't you use the Italian restaurant mask for Christ's sake? Hey! Etty quitty, boy. Etty quitty. Whoa. Whoa, looky here! Your first mask. Why, you wore this on your first job, Louis Five and Dime. Hey, 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 hey. You know, I was only six. You know, I could hardly lift that wrench I beat the old guy with. Hey. No time for nostalgia, big guy. Hey, 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 now here it is. The liquor store mask. All right. Yeah. Hey, whatever happened to my gum, Wilmer? Whatever happened to Sharon Sherry like Melifant? Hey, whatever happened to Christian values, girls? Yeah. Whatever happened to Lord Lucan? Whatever happened to... Whatever happened to... Whatever happened to... Whatever happened to Mo Head Suits? Mo and Scooters and Chelsea Boots. They broke down on the scenic route. But whatever happened to the AA Man Salute? Whatever happened to Plastic Fruit? There'll never be no substitute. Will anybody ever give a hoot? But whatever happened to the AA Man Salute? Hello, Patrolman Anthony Ranger speaking. Are you alone, Ranger? Ah, ah. Yes, yes, very funny again, Control. Now, what do you want? Is this an emergency? Is a member in difficulties? Go to Swarfiga Road, outside Tesco's, White Cortina, registration RFM 452C, only with vehicle. Understood. Over and out. Hello, Silva. Away! Bastards. <laughs> Hello there, Wayne! This is me, Pat Pockets, the World Wallet Man. Oh, sorry, Pat. I didn't recognise you with me mask on. <laughs> Don't mention it at all. There's a lovely crowd. Here. Do you mind if I tickle the lining of a few overcoats? No, help yourself. I've seen this before. It's a repeat. And the crowd adoring every minute of it. First the jump, there's the first jump. Will she go for the second jump? Coming, there it is. Oh, a fine program, this. She's uh, changing pace with the tempo perfectly. Sheer artistic impression is excellent as she maneuvers herself once again. Ladies and gentlemen, my God, my God, I'd love to put my hand up her skirt. I hate ice skating. Let me turn it back to the movie. All right. I warn you, it's really boring, this. Why? What happens? It's one of those stupid, absurdist comedies. Oh. You know, that's what I mean. Yeah, first, first the A-Man turns, turns, turns up, up yeah. yeah. Now then, sir, first things first. 
May I see your membership card, please? What? Yeah, yeah. Just hurry up, that's all. I cannot be too careful, sir. There's many a dishonest person about it's not above using a friend's card. Would you credit? Well, thank you, Mr. Armadillo. Let's see if we can get your jam jar going brum brum again, shall we? Mum, if I don't go, I'll weigh myself. Listen, you. Do you see him? The big Wally with the gun? Well, if you didn't start waning, I'm going to tell him to shoot me. But, Mum... Right, I warned you. Hey, you. Shoot him. Shoot him. Ah, I think you'll find it's the firing mechanism, sir. You really must try and keep them clean. Let's have a look. Ah, as I suspected, flags of all nations. Well, it should be fine now, sir. It's all part of the service, sir. Well, sir, you're in luck. Oh, what's that? This is my car. And I know exactly what the trouble will be. Wayne? <laughs> I do wish you wouldn't bring your work home with you. Look, it's got to be done. It's a rush job. I suppose that Elmer Minx is still in the bedroom. Yeah, well, it's not hurting anybody, is it? Anyway, you finished that fan bow yet? Nearly. Mm. Hello? Hello, Andy. Well, I don't know. We're a bit pushed for space at the moment. Hang on a minute. I'll check. Uh, Viv? Yeah? Uh, room for a Ford Transit in the kitchen, is there? We've already got a Ford Transit in the kitchen. No, I mean another one. I suppose so. Yeah. Hello, Andy. Yeah, bring it around about eight. It'll uh, be a bit pricey, mind. I've got an appointment with a bank manager in a minute. I'm trying to get a loan from him. Right. Thanks. 